Okay, so the next one we're going to do is Yoko Guruma or side wheel. Yoko Guruma is often mistaken for Uranage because it looks very similar, but there's a rotating action involved which uh, differentiates it from Uranage. In some ways, it's easier to do than Uranage because that rotating action generates a force, generates momentum. So you don't have to use so much strength to lift Uke. And uh, the way it works is this. Uh, in Uranage, when Uke comes in, you stop Uke and then you throw him to the back. Okay? In Yoko Guruma, you do, uh, as I mentioned, a rotational action. So what I'm from here, instead of taking him to the back, I'm going to take him in that direction, towards his front, okay? Towards his front. He's going that way, I'm going to take him that way. So the way I do that is, see this leg? I rotate around. I rotate around, then I throw him to the front. So uh, if we're going to use the crash pad, it's got to be this way. So he comes in with Koshi Guruma. Boom, I stop him. Right? If it's Uranage, I will pick him up like this. But Yoko Guruma, I won't do that. I will do this. I will come here and then I'll pick him up and throw. Okay? So from here, okay, you see that rotational action? It looks in a way more dynamic than Uranage because of that whirling action. There's more time you spend in the air and it's just that more dynamic. But it's actually in a way easier than Uranage because uh, as I mentioned, the rotational action generates a, a force, generates a momentum. So again, comes in. Comes in. Alright, so you have to do it both sides because you don't know which direction your opponent is coming in. So if he's left-handed, he's coming in here. Boom. Okay, what's important is that you always spin and end on your front, not on your back. So again, as Mitani Etoshi and Uranagi, if you land on your back, it's no score. And if Uke lands on top of you, it's, it's their score. So you've got to spin, land on your front.